Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain the scaling options in Azure Application Gateway. While creation of Application Gateway, you get an option to either select auto scaling or the manual scaling. In auto scaling, you provide the minimum number of instances as well as the maximum number of instances so that Application Gateway doesn't scale beyond that limit. However, in the case of manual instances, you just provide the current number of instances you require at that time. Manual scaling is not recommended for the production use because you have to manually change the number of instances for the application gateway. And in the case of more traffic and utilization, Azure application gateway will not scale. And in that case, users will face latency while hitting the website. So let's check the scaling in the lab. Let's go to Azure portal. And I have already created Azure application gateway here. Let's go to Azure application gateway. There is an application gateway with the name AGW Dev 001. And if we'll go to the configuration, you can clearly see the capacity type is manual. If we'll go to the properties of application gateway, you can see the current instance count. Let's go back to configuration and enable the auto scaling. I'll provide minimum instance count as one and the maximum to be three. Save. Changes are saved now. Let's go back to properties. And now you will not see the instance count here. So that means you don't have insights on how many instances are running for application gateway. Though the billing of application gateway version two depends on two factors, static factor where there is a minimum billing and the dynamic factor, which involves the throughput, the current connections and data transfer. So if you'll go to the insights in monitoring, you can see the current capacity units and one instance has minimum of 10 capacity units for which you are billed. If you use more than 10 capacity unit, you will be charged based on that. Let's assume a scenario where there is a traffic surge on your website from morning 11 o'clock to one o'clock in the afternoon. So in that case, if the auto scaling is enabled, your application gateway will scale based on the load. But sometimes when there is instant traffic, application gateway takes some time to scale, which can lead to the latency issues on your website. So the solution for this issue is using the scheduled scaling, which I'll show you in this lab using Azure automation. Let's create an automation account, search for automation and create a new automation account. I'll select an existing resource group, RJ dev application gateway, automation account name, dev auto 001. I'll keep the region as Australia East, go to next. In this case, I'll use the system assigned managed identity. Next, I'll keep the public access in the network connectivity. Next, review and create and create. As your automation is created now, let's go to the resource. Now, before we create the run books, I'll assign the permission to automation account to make changes in application gateway. Let's look for identity. It's in account setting identity. Because during the creation, we enabled the system assigned managed identity. Let's go to the permission Azure role assignments. Right now, this Azure account has no permissions. Let's assign the role. Select as resource group and contributor. Because our application gateway is lying in RG dev application gateway. The role is assigned now. Now let's go back to automation account and click on run books. Let's create a new run book. Let's name it as scale up. The run book type will be PowerShell and the version will be 5.1. Leave the description as blank and create. Now we have to provide the PowerShell script. I'll just copy paste the script here. So first we are using three parameters. One is application gateway name, resource group name and the number of required instances. And these parameters have to be provided while running this run book. Either we can execute the run book manually or link it to a schedule. Then it's using the managed identity where we have provided it permissions on the resource group where application gateway is lying. It's importing the module AZ. And then it's making the auto scale configuration changes where it's providing the minimum capacity. So let's save this. And before we publish, let's test this here. 
let's provide the name of application gateway let's go to application gateway agw dev 001 resource group name and the number of instances right now auto scaling is enabled on application gateway where the minimum number of instances is 1 and the maximum number is 3 because there will be a traffic surge we want the minimum number of instances to be 2 so let's set up the value as 2 and start this will take couple of minutes to run i'll be back once the script is completed job is completed now let's go to application gateway go to the configuration and now you can see the minimum instance count is 2 however when we configured the auto scaling we set up the maximum instance count as 3 but in this case as you can see in the script we didn't provide any maximum capacity so by default it has taken as 10 so in the script you can provide hyphen max capacity and add that to in parameters number of minimum required instances and maximum required instances so let's change this minimum required instances copy this and create the new parameter So this way you will provide both the minimum instance count as well as the maximum instance count. Let's save this and publish. Let's create another run book for the scale down option. PowerShell 5.1 as the runtime environment. And let's copy the same script. Go to automation account. Go to the run books, scale up, view, copy the same thing and paste it here and save and publish. So as we assumed a scenario where the traffic surge happens at 11 a.m. and dies down at 1 p.m. So let's create two schedules, go to the automation account. Go to the schedules, add a schedule, scale up schedule, which will start from tomorrow, 11 a.m. Australia time. And another schedule for scaling down. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Create. Now let's go to the run books. First, let's go to scale up and link to a schedule. We'll select the scale up schedule, provide the parameters. Let's go to application gateway and copy the parameters. Resource group name, number of instances. So we are scaling up. So we want to provide three number of minimum number of instances to be three and maximum to be 5 and select OK and OK. So when you go to schedules, you can see the next run is tomorrow 11 a.m. Same way, let's repeat for scale down, link to a schedule. We'll select the scale down schedule. We'll provide the same parameters and save it. And this is how two different run books are created. One for scaling up, one for scaling down. I have parameterized all the variables in the PowerShell script. So every time you don't need to create a new script. You have to just provide the variables during linking to schedule or running it manually. And the same script will work for scaling up and scaling down. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.